European rabbit, as the name suggests, it's native to Europe, but not to Ireland. Uh, it's native probably within uh, Iberian Peninsula and Western France, a little bit of Northern Africa. Uh, but here it was introduced probably by Normans long time ago, so nowadays they can treat them as near native or naturalized as we call them. They dig burrows, unlike hares, usually uh, several burrows in one place. Uh, so there is a group of rabbits living together uh, when those, which mean the female rabbits, are about to have babies, which we call kittens. Uh, they usually dig a new hole or they use an old one and in the beginning they are born naked and blind and they open their eyes a little bit later and uh, the mother visits them only once a night just to feed them and then she covers the entrance to the burrow so no predators or books which could possibly kill them can could find them uh, now the kittens leave the burrow uh, when they're big enough, when they already have four and working eyes, they would leave the burrow for some time and they can look around at these beautiful settings. We have foxgloves here, several species of grass, some goats, young goats nearby. They can live on this and that. At the age of around five months, they are ready to leave their own kittens. Of course, if there's enough space for them. Unfortunately, rabbits, as well as the relatives, hares, and our domestic pet rabbits, are now under threat from a disease, a viral disease, called rabbit hemorrhage disease virus 2, or RHD2. Uh, this virus emerged this particular strain of the virus emerged in France in 2010 and it was first diagnosed in Ireland in 2018 uh, in a domestic rabbit. So it is in the wild now and it seems that the cases rose recently, especially since last autumn. So the symptoms of the disease is paralysis or partial paralysis uh, and internal bleeding. Uh, sometimes you can see also bleeding from eyes and mouth and swollen eyelids. Uh, the infected animal would die very quickly within a few days and uh, what is worrying they also tend just before their death they tend to get out to the open and die there. Uh, it spreads very easily uh, as uh, it can also be spread by birds in their droppings when they fly over fields or gardens they can be uh, moved on our shoes or clothes under under a walk. And although rabbits have to tend for themselves as they are not native species and they are usually treated as pests, so nobody really worries about them. But the Irish hare, uh, which is a species which is protected by law and it's endemic to Ireland, which means that it, it is only on this island here. Uh, now this is a big worry and we are required to take care of its welfare. So NPWS, National Parks and Wildlife Service, uh, asked the public to report any deaths, uh, suspicious deaths of rabbits and hares, uh, especially those which, you know, you know that they're not road kills. So if you find a rabbit or a hare just lying in the field, you should report to them. You can see the email or phone number at the bottom of the screen now. Uh, so the scientists can learn more about the disease and how we can deal with it.